Hey guys, it's me. Um, live from yet another friend's house who has better Wi-Fi than I do. Um, and wanted to take a few moments to chat with you guys before episode seven. Um, I think this is probably going to be one that's exciting to some folks um, and hopefully answers a lot of questions that people have been asking since they announced that we would be doing one more season. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a lot that I don't want to give away. There have been so many press photos though that I guess you already know that this is the week when Michael and Sarah are going to get a chance to um, encounter one another, which is a very complicated and kind of emotional thing. And it was certainly the most emotional set of scenes that I filmed the whole time we were doing um, this last season of Prison Break because it was a chance for Wentworth and I to step back into some very old shoes and, um, and see how we as people and Michael and Sarah as characters have changed. So, oh goodness, you're already asking questions. Um, when will we get Prison Break 5 on Netflix? Oh, Amit, I have absolutely no idea. That is so far above my pay grade. Um, often Netflix will wait until an entire season has aired. So I imagine it wouldn't be any time before, say, July. But it also probably depends on your territory, because I know here in Canada, Netflix has different, different stuff than it does um, in the States which was super frustrating when I was halfway through The People vs. O.J. Simpson and then came back to Canada. And now I haven't seen the last three, um, the last three episodes. So I've got to get back down to the States to figure out, I mean, I know how it ends, but how they ended it. Okay, um, before the season started, did you or any of your castmates re-watch Old Prison Break? Nancy Rich asks. Um, I might have been the only dork that did. I did because I was raised by professors and I believe in... Um, research and because there was also so much that had gone on in terms of plot and twists and density and people who had trusted each other and then betrayed each other and then had to work together and thinking of Sarah and Kellerman um, that I wanted to make sure I kind of had all that in my head properly um, and there were a couple of moments especially with Paul Adelstein when we did our scenes together we started off and he looked at me and he goes, I can't remember, are we mad at each other or have we forgiven each other? And we kind of had a discussion about where we left it. So I think, but I think I was the only geek that did that stuff. I think the rest of them trusted themselves to know what they were doing um, more than I did. And they did a great job. Andrea, any hope of another season? Read an article last night that moved up too fast for me to hear the rest of it. Um, I don't know. It's funny. I read an article too last night that said something about prison break being canceled. And it, it was funny. Paul Sharing and I were writing back and forth and he was like, how do you cancel a show that never planned on doing another season? Um, my understanding was always that this final season of prison break was as Paul Sharing put it, our drop the mic season, an opportunity to end the show in a way that maybe was more satisfying to us creatively and um, hopefully to you as well. Um, and kind of tie some things together. And then as Paul said, drop the mic and walk away. So as far as I know, there've never been, um, there've never been real plans for a sixth season. Uh, but then again, I never thought that there were plans for a fifth season. So, you know, clearly these things <laughs> happen at levels um, that I'm not particularly privy to. I'm going to die when you're in today's episode. Joylin, please don't die. It's, it's just a television show. It's not worth it. Um, Denise from the West Indies, a small island. Love Prison Break. Thank you. I'm from a small island too. I'm from Hawaii. So here is to the island girls. John Paul, please do another season. Can I start a petition? Can I bring back the real Gretchen Morgan? Um, it would have been so great to have had Jodi in the show so far. I, that's, she's such a talented woman and such a beautiful woman. Every time I ever looked at her, her eyes just kind of took me aback. So um, yes, I think, I think the Gretchen petition is a great petition. Uh, Dana Grosso, when will I be able to give you my drawing personally? Um, well, it depends where in the world you are, Dana. I, uh, I've actually decided to do a few conventions this summer. 
Um, it's been a while since I kind of got out and had a chance to talk to you guys in person. And um, I'm taking off a lot of this summer for writing and producing, so I'm not chained to a set. I've got a little more flexibility. So I'm gonna be in Nashville um, in June. I think that's coming up soon, the Walker Stalker, and then there's a Walker Stalker in Portland a couple weeks later, I think still in June. And then I'm gonna do a convention in Montreal, and I think that's August, it might be July, I'm not sure. And then I'll be in Toronto uh, the first weekend of September. And that'll take me right up to when we go back to filming Colony again, yay, um, in early September. So Dana, if you're around any of those places, um, remind me that we had this conversation over Facebook and I can't wait to see the picture and thank you for taking the time um, to draw it. Gladys in Georgia, hi Sarah, how's your working relationship with Wentworth Miller, love from the Philippines. My love to the Philippines, um, I have a sister-in-law from Iloilo, and so Philippines has a special place in my heart. Not to mention the fact that when you're from Hawaii, every third person you know is Filipino or Filipina. Um, uh, what was your question? Oh, how's my working relationship with Wentworth? Um, I love working with Wentworth. He is immediate. Uh, I don't have to do much besides learn my lines and look at him, um, especially after all of these years of trusting one another. I think we improv well together. There are certain things, you know, Wentworth's a writer and he's a really good one, so there are certain lines that he will work with and work up in the moment. Um, and we trust each other to just sort of bat bat back and forth. Like I said, these scenes that are going to be coming out tonight were... Um, were really intense to film. I, at the end of it, my heart was beating so fast. And, uh, and we just sort of sat there and gave each other a hug because it had been a really long time since we've had a chance to work together. Um, Julie says, I've missed all the ones this season. Are they going to repeat? I have absolutely no idea. That's a, that's a Peter Newman call. Um, Gary Newman. Sorry. <laughs> I just called my boss by his wrong name. Sorry, Gary. Um, I don't know if they'll repeat, but I do believe they will be on Netflix eventually. Um, Zoe from Argentina, cannot wait for tonight's episode. Um, I lost that. Chris McKee, hi from Canada. Hi, Canada. I'm in Canada too. Um, April, please come to Walker Stalker in Tulsa in August. T Tulsa in August. I don't think I can, um, but you also said you met Adrian. Adrian is an absolute doll. Adrian Pazdar, for those of you who don't know, uh, and I work together on Colony. Um, although every time I follow him on Instagram and every time he posts another, uh, throwback Thursday, I realize that he's been in like every amazing movie ever. Um, and he's also in a band called the band from TV and they've asked me to sing with them. So I might actually have a gig coming up eventually where I get to sing in a band, which sounds like the single coolest thing, uh, a girl can do. Um, Ms. Ramirez, hi Sarah, greetings from Paraguay, hi Paraguay, hola Paraguay, sorry, my Spanish sucks. Um, Kayo, how is your experience to play a character with your name? Um, I sort of wish it was different because then I would know if I was talking to a fan or somebody that I know. Um, it's useful to have that difference in my head, but... Uh, I've gotten used to it, you know, I've been playing Sarah for a long time, Sarah Tancredi for a long time. Um, the only thing that really irritates me is when people say, oh, you played that nurse on Prison Break? Because she played a doctor, and I can't help but wonder if they think she's a nurse just because she was a girl. And I didn't go to six years of fake TV medical school for nothing. So that's my, that's my soapbox on that. Um, Michelle Carpenter downloaded the Fox app to watch the new episodes, didn't know you could do that access on the iPhone. Amazing. Um, you're smarter than I am with this thing. Behind the Eyes is the final episode. I'm so sad it's ending. I hope we get to see a happy family at the end, says Lori. Um, I can't tell you any of that, but you will definitely get moments with um, Michael and his son, and those are important moments um, because now, in addition to having a brother and uh, uh, a wife, an ex-wife, an estranged wife. I don't know what to call them to each other right now, but um, he has a son, and I think that matters to Michael probably more than anything else. Um, Harpreet, your acting on the show is so intense, and this thing is moving. So speaking of intense, this thing is going too fast for me. 
Amal, hi Sarah, love the show, love the actors. You saw the first four seasons five times. Goodness gracious, Anthony Webb, hi. How is filming a show largely centered around ISIL, especially with the current events around the world? Um, you know, I think it was a really brave thing to do for the writers to decide to take on um, a story that takes place in a Muslim country in so much conflict and to make sure that we were depicting um, Muslims on both sides of the conflict. You know, I think Rockman Dunbar's character this year is a really beautiful example of a man who is both um, both Muslim and devoting himself to peace, even though he can still whoop some ass. Um, Sheba's character, you know, a strong woman, an independent, a powerful woman, a woman who chooses to be covered and to wear the hijab, um, and who is also uh, who is also a Muslim. And I, I think it's important at this time in our global culture to make sure that we make heroes of Muslims and that we respect Islam as a religion and that we don't confuse um, ISIL and terrorism with, uh, with all of the wonderful, honorable, kind, generous men and women, some of whom I've met around the world um, who practice Islam as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the show for choosing to take that on. Um, Mrs. Sanchez, uh, please encourage the PB team to keep the show alive seven, eight, and nine seasons. I will do my best. Um, these things are out of our hands, but it means a lot to all of us that there is that kind of support from you guys. So thank you so much for that. Um, can't tell you how many times I've watched Prison Breaks as Sean Gowers, Juliana Maniero. Hello. You love Prison Break and The Walking Dead. Thank you so much. Colleen, it's about to see Sarah and Michael again. Shout out, oh my goodness, um, Avon Monet. Uh, I was the sad gay kid who provided representation of the LGBTQ community and I wish that had gone someplace else. Can I get that back? No, not even, oh wait, oh wait, I can't. Um, I was so sad that the gay kid who provided representation to the LGBT community had to die in the show. That always seems to happen. It's a really good point. Um, I heard a podcast or something the other day about the way in which gay characters often get killed off of a show um, sooner than anybody else. And uh, my hope, I mean, you know, we have a we have a gay character in in this season of Prison Break um, who is incarcerated for being uh, a homosexual man and. I hope that our depiction of him changes. Um, I don't know if it's going to change a trend, but at least I hope it um, it doesn't follow that trend. He's a character that matters. Uh, I think he's beautifully played by the actor who plays him, and it you know raises hopefully a certain level of awareness about the amount of violence towards um, our brothers and sisters in the LGBTQ community. Um, because that violence is as inappropriate as violence towards anyone is. And I've got so many friends in that community um, that I've got a particular stake in trying to make sure that they're all safe. Um, I just found out I can slow this thing down. Rebecca Brooke Turner says, I love you, but damn, it seems you're running or fighting for your life in every show you've been in. Okay, first of all, my mom agrees with you, and my mom doesn't like it either. Second of all, I'm actively trying to put together a skit with Funny or Die right now um, because I need to do something besides fight for my life in everything that I do. Um, and maybe I'll get a chance to move into some comedy at some point. I would certainly love to. And it's funny, stand-up comedy is almost all I watch. Um, I wrote a letter to Eliza Schlesinger today actually because I saw her special Confirmed Kills and I just loved it. I loved all of it. And so, you know, maybe if she writes me back, we'll get a chance to collaborate. Um, Fiorella, I think I may be saying that right. What a beautiful name. Does the cast of Prison Break do any public events together? Um, I may try and put one together. Stay tuned. We'll see. That's unfortunately a language I don't speak. I'm so sorry, um, Ms. Molina. Leah Torres, love the show. Thank you so much. I didn't realize I could slow this thing down. 
Um, watching Prison Break has become a hobby, says Arvind Kumar. Don't know if I've watched it more than 100 times. Thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, Bob, wow, that's, okay, let me try this. Via Vatine, I may have gotten that wrong, but big love on that last name. Uh-oh. No, I don't want to block him. Sorry, I'm pushing buttons and I don't know what they mean. Um, Ana Paula Vichy, hi Sarah, love from Brazil. Hi, Brazil. Um, Alan, I could just spend an entire time trying to figure out if my pronunciation can hang with all of your amazing names from around the world. First of all, thank you for the global support because the global support from this show has always been amazing. And now I get a chance to try and pronounce Alan Selimovic. Selimovic, um, loved Prison Break. Thank you so much, Karen or Saren Kosma. I remember watching the show when I was only eight years old and here I am at 20 years old. Thank you for making this little girl's life much more vivid and colorful growing up. That's amazing. Um, I feel like I'm your mom. <laughs> and thank you for hanging with us all these years and thank you for sticking with a show that you loved at eight into 20. Um, and who on earth let you watch Prison Break at eight years old? My daughter's nine and I would never let her watch that show. All right, I'm gonna try and dig around for some questions because I did say I would answer some. I gotta let you guys go watch the show in one second. All right, did the characters, hi from Malaysia. Hi Malaysia, Jeanette Tan. Um, Trisha Ritter, shout out to Trisha and Tim. We love you from Mulberry, Florida. What's up guys? Um, you guys are sending so much love. There's no questions though, huh? Nicole says hi from Minnesota. What's up Minnesota? All right, I may give up on Brendan Mark Gross says, could you shout out me and my new fiance? Hey, good luck. My husband and I just celebrated 20 years since we met. Um, and it's not easy, but it's amazing. So congratulations to you, Brendan. And um, oh, Grassy, he says. That's amazing, Mr. and soon to be Mrs. Grassy. Thank you for giving me a chance to pronounce that right. Um, yeah, that's a wonderful way to end. We're gonna end on the shout out to Mr. Brendan Grassy, 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 it's probably Grassy. And whether or not his wife chooses to take his last name, she maybe misses something else. Um, but here's to, here's to people who belong together, getting together and having a fighting chance. That's the theme of this week's episode. And so I'm making it in reverse, the theme of this week's Facebook Live. Um, yeah, big love to all of you guys. Treat each other well, take good care of each other, treat each other with love and respect, and know that you have all my love and respect, and I hope you like the episode. Bye guys, see you next time.